All right, I'll show you how we can use Moodle to keep our participant list in there for Turning Point and how you can import it into Turning Point. So the first thing you'll do is go into Moodle and I like to hide the navigation pane because it hides a bunch of stuff or I mean pushes it all down. So then under the administration, under course administration, we want to turn editing on. So we click on turn editing on and then scroll down and we're going to add a block called turning technologies. So we click on that and it inserts the block for us. Um, students will go to the same place on the far left at the very bottom there'll be something called turning technologies and for the students it will say response card registration and for us it's going to say turning technologies device ID so we can see what students are registered and right now you can see that all of the students in my class are registered they have typed in their ID number but if we had someone without that a number typed in we could just click on the number and we could come in here and type in whatever was on on the back of their card for that. Now that we have, we can also here, we can email the unregistered students, but I think it actually emails everybody on the list, but that's okay. So students will just go to your course page, go down and to the turning technology block and put in their register their device there too. Then we will go ahead and open up turning technologies or turning point and right here you'll see you can t see what receiver you have. Right now I have nothing plugged in but if you wanted to change the channel you could do it there. We will come to the manage tab and under participant list we're going to say new and we want to download one from integration so we'll say create a list we will then go ahead and type in um, some information here and it's asking you for that it's Moodle and it asks for your server address your username and password so the server address is going to be the https colon slash slash and then the name of where your server is located. Then you'll type in your username and your password and connect. And then what it does, it shows you a list of all the classes you have. So I have this quiz testing course that I want to import from. And it says that we found some devices that were registered to a couple people. Uh, we'll go ahead and just say save. And then it will say it's successfully imported the list. And there we have our users with their device ID, numbers, etc. And then we can go ahead and come back and there are some things you might want to do such as down here on preferences you might want to set up where you want to save your default save location. You can do that there. We can also then go ahead and sort the names if we wanted to. We would do that under the manage tab and we would sort things there and we would just go ahead and go back to polling and if you wanted to create a poll with those people you would do PowerPoint polling and you would create your turning point to do that with and that is all it takes to do it